Hey everyone and welcome to the Linux Inch YouTube channel. In this video, we will review this HP Chromebook 14 laptop. We have just bought it around a couple of weeks ago and you can see the video by clicking on this icon button. If we start reviewing it from the hardware perspective, it has a very good high quality plastic body and it is really lightweight. And the battery timing is really good. It has a battery timing of around 6 plus hours and it has a very good sound quality as well. Now if we talk about the specifications, it comes with an Intel Celeron dual core processor coupled with either 2 gigabits of RAM and 16 gigabits of SSD storage or 4 gigabits of RAM and 32 gigabits of SSD storage. You can buy these laptops by visiting the link that I have pasted in the description below. Alright, our purpose is to install Linux on this Chromebook and we'll let you know about the challenges that we have faced and how did we handle them. So let's begin. We specifically use this low price and low memory laptop to prove that Linux can be installed on this system. Well, Chrome OS is a Linux kernel based operating system, but it is not Linux, although it is Linux kernel based. It has a hidden terminal and we will use that to install Linux on this Chromebook. Installing any operating system on this Chromebook is not as easy as installing an operating system on any other laptop, like dual booting or removing the operating system and install a new one. Chrome OS is the built-in operating system of this Chromebook and it doesn't allow us to install any other operating system easily. We have to enable the developer mode first. So this was the first challenge that we have to face. There were a lot of other ways available on the internet to install Linux on this Chromebook but we'll show you the most convenient and easiest one. We will use a third party script called Crouton to install Ubuntu using chroot and giving Ubuntu its own pretend root directory in the Chromebook machine. This will let us run Chrome OS and Ubuntu side by side. And we will be able to flip between these two on the fly. The benefit behind using this method is that you only need one or two GB of storage space, nothing else. So let's begin with the first challenge, enabling developer mode. By default, Chromebooks don't allow us to use chroots. We have to put our machine into developer mode to grant us this power. But before getting started, make sure to back up your data because it will wipe up all your local data. Although Chrome OS is an online centric operating system and most of your data is stored remotely, but it is a better practice to back up your data before enabling the developer mode. To get to the developer mode, we need to first reboot into recovery mode. So on the most Chromebooks, you can do so by holding the escape, refresh key and then press the power key button. Now when you see this message Chrome OS is missing or damaged, press Ctrl D. You will be prompted with an opportunity to turn OS verification off. Now press enter to turn OS verification off. Now whenever you boot up your Chromebook, it will begin with a warning screen noting that OS verification is off. You will need to press Ctrl D to continue. Your device will now transition to developer mode. Now every boot thereafter will begin with this warning screen. Now you need to press Ctrl D to continue. Do not follow the on-screen instructions to turn OS verification on or you risk wiping all your machine's data and turning developer mode off. Now set up your Chrome OS account. Alright, at this stage we have successfully enabled the developer mode on Chrome OS. Now let's install Ubuntu using Croton script. Now let's switch to the Chromebook screen. Now in order to install Ubuntu using Croton script and developer mode on, you need to download the Croton script by visiting this link. You can get this link from the description below as well. Now hit enter and the Croton script will be downloaded. You can see here. Now click on this show in folder button and you can see that the Croton script is downloaded in the downloads directory. Now we need to open up the shell. So press Ctrl Alt T for opening the terminal of Chrome OS and type shell. Alright, now we need to copy the installer to an executable location. We can do so by typing this command. You can get this command from the description below. Now the Croton script has become executable. Now we can install any Debian based operating system by using the sudo croton script like this sudo croton t xfce. Now this command will actually install Ubuntu 16.04, which is pretty old, right? 
So we can use the dash r parameter. The dash r parameter specifies which distro release you want to use. For getting the list, you can type the sudo croton dash r list. And here you can see that we have got the Debian releases, Kali releases and Ubuntu releases. To install Focal Fossa, the command would be like this, sudo croton dash t xfce dash r focal. Since we have a lightweight system, we are using xfce. You can use dash t unity at the place of dash t xfce to install Ubuntu using unity desktop or genome fans can use dash t genome. Now after typing this command, hit enter to continue the process. And now you will see that your terminal processing these packages one by one. Wait patiently, this will take some time, so feel free to browse the web on Chrome OS and have a snack. Now in the end, provide the username and password. And this is it. You can jump straight to your XFCE session by running sudo enter chroot start xfce4 or a simple shortcut sudo start xfce4. Let me clear the terminal and run the command. Here we can see that we are logged into the xfce4 session and in the terminal we can see that it is Ubuntu 20.04 focal force release. So this is it. Now using the control shift alt and arrow keys shortcut we can switch back to our Chrome OS. Now we can exit the CH root by logging out of XFC by using the Ctrl C shortcut keys. Now if you want to remove Ubuntu that you have installed using Croton script from the Chromebook, you can do so by navigating to the slash user slash local slash CH root directory. And now in this directory, you need to run this command sudo delete dash ch root space static and hit enter. Now press y and hit enter to continue the uninstallation process of Ubuntu 20.04. Alright, now in the end, remove the slash user slash local slash bin directory as well using the sudo rm command. And this is it, you have successfully removed the Ubuntu from Chromebook. Alternatively, when you re-enable OS verification at the boot screen, it will automatically disable developer mode and remove all of the local data including the Ubuntu installation. So this is how easy it is to install Ubuntu or any other Linux operating system on Chromebook. Well, this was not that much easy, but we have made it easy for you. And after watching this video, you know how to enable the developer mode on the Chromebook and you know how to install Linux on this Chromebook. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit the like button and let us know if you found this video useful. And also give your feedback in the comments below and tell us if you found any other way to install Linux on the Chromebook. Thank you so much for watching this video.